Carrie Ann with Salty and Bright. We're continuing the series on the inhabitants of the lake of fire. Jesus gave us this beautiful picture of what the kingdom of heaven is like. And John saw a vision of a new heaven and a new earth. Unfortunately, not everyone made it there. There were some that made it into the lake of fire. And among them were once considered to be whoremongers. The Greek word is pornois, and it's to be sexually immoral. And that's where the word porn comes from. Porn comes from that, that root word. And so we do have a lot of people who are addicted to porn. The porn industry is has a lots of sexually explicit videos with people who are not married. There are people, it's their job um, to have multiple partners. That was not how we were designed. That's not how God put it together. When we give ourselves to someone sexually, we create a soul tie. So for every person that you have sexual intercourse with, you are tying your soul with that person. So again, in the lake of fire, whoremongers are in this group of people. First Corinthians 5 verses 9 and 10 state, I wrote unto you in an epistle not to company with fornicators, yet not altogether with the fornicators of this world, or with the covetous, or extortioners, or with idolaters, for then must ye needs go out of the world. Here in this particular scripture, it, it talks about fornicators. Fornicators are people who involve who are involved in sexual activity and they are not married. That's fornication. Adultery is having sexual interactions with people who are not your spouse. And in today's culture, we have free love and promiscuity is encouraged. Not only are we encouraged to have free love, but we're also encouraged to try different types of sexual encounters. And that is not how we were designed. We were designed to, a, a husband was supposed to leave his family and cleave to his wife. That is the expectation. That's how Jesus described a marriage. That is what's supposed to happen. We're supposed to save ourselves until we're married and we should have that one union and build a family from there. But here in our culture, again, where good is considered evil and evil is considered good, we are celebrated for promiscuity. We're celebrated for engaging in activities of sexual immorality because that's the world we're in now. And when you believe in Christ, you have to be not conform to this world. You cannot think like the world and expect that you're living up to God's standards because who he who is a friend of the world is in enmity with God. And so I want you all to make it into the new heaven and the new earth. I would hate for us, any of us, to be a whoremonger and a fornicator and someone who's sexually immoral and end up in the lake of fire. I'm telling you this because the kingdom of heaven is at hand, and I want us to be with Jesus. If you don't have a relationship with Jesus, I strongly recommend that you do that. We've all sinned and fallen short of God's glory. We have all missed the mark, but God demonstrated his love to us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He allowed his son to take the price of our sin from us, and that is the good news. We get to live with Christ. We get to be a joint heir with Christ when we accept him as Lord and Savior. If we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we will be saved. Not only that, but we need to turn away from our sin. We need to repent and turn to God. If we confess our sins, our Heavenly Father is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If you haven't yet done so, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Learn more about the inhabitants of the Lake of Fire. Learn more about how much God truly does love you, how much Jesus loves you, and how He wants to have a relationship with you. The Kingdom of God is at hand. The Kingdom of Heaven is at hand. Thanks, friends.